today's news. Appeals Court sentences Enula Factor Live to pretrial detention. Lawsuit against education expert dropped. Police captain pressured by Ministry of Internal Affairs. Mother of three to go on hunger strike. Today, the Baku Appeals Court heard Enola Fatulayev's appeal against the Garadag District Court's 6th of July decision. Judge Nirpasha Husseinov presided over the hearing. Fatulayev's lawyer, Issachan Asharov, said that he had been given too little notice of the hearing date. He was only told yesterday that he would be expected in court today. On these grounds, he filed a motion requesting the judge to postpone the hearing so that he could properly prepare his defense. Fatulayev himself was only told this morning. The state plaintiff objected to Asharov's motion and demanded pre-trial detention for Fatulayev. Asharov objected to the judge's listening to the state plaintiff's motion before resolving the motion that he had filed earlier. He left the courtroom in protest. After deliberating, the judge ruled to sentence Fatulayev to pre-trial detention in the Baku investigative prison and to postpone court the court hearing until November 22nd. In 2007, Enola Fatulayev, editor-in-chief of Realme Azerbaijan and Gundelik Azerbaijan newspapers, was sentenced to eight and a half years in jail for threatening terrorism, amongst other charges. In July of this year, he was sentenced to an additional two and a half years by the Garadek District Court under charges of drug possession. The European Court of Human Rights has issued a final and absolute ruling for his innocence and has demanded his immediate release. The Azerbaijani government has refused to comply. Today, the Yasamal District Court Judge, Khagani Tagayev, announced a decision to drop the criminal lawsuit filed by the Education Ministry's Textbooks Evaluation Council against education expert Alovset Osmanla. The judge closed the lawsuit after repeated no-shows by the Textbook Evaluation Council, Osmanla told Objective TV. The Council for Textbook Evaluation had appealed to the court over a series of articles Osmanla wrote for Azadlik newspaper that focused on problems in education in Azerbaijan. The article had sparked the lawsuit that was titled the Council for Textbook Evaluation Commits Fraud When Choosing Textbook Sets. A press conference on protection of rights of police medical service captain Nigar Ahmad Beyova was held at the medical center today. Earlier in January of this year, Khatai District Court sentenced Ahmad Beyova's spouse, Emin Ahmad Beyov, to three years of imprisonment for resistance to traffic police officer. Appeals Court and Supreme Court upheld the decision. Claiming the decision was unfounded, Nigar Ahmad Beova held press conferences where she stated that her husband was innocent and the incident was set up. The Ministry of Internal Affairs began to figure out ways to silence her. Specifically, Nigar Ahmad Beova, who is on maternal leave, should have resumed to her work in October of 2010. However, because of her two-year-old child's chronic disease, she appealed to relevant bodies of the ministry, re requesting unpaid leave in accordance with the relevant articles of the Labor Code. But the Human Resources Department of the ministry refused. Rice defender Alakbar Mahmadov said, They insistently called me to the ministry. I will agree to be dismissed from my job, but I will not go to the ministry, he said. Nigar Ahmadbeova added that he has appealed to the relevant agency but received no response. Mother of three, Farida Mutalimova is in dire straits financially. Since 2001, her ex-husband has failed to make his alimony and support payments. She has spoken to various state agencies, but her appeal seemed to have fallen on deaf ears, reported Mutalimova at a press conference at the IRFS press centre today. All three of her children suffer from mental health problems and have been placed within the second disability group. Mutalimova sold her house in 2001 in order to pay for their treatment. With the remaining money, she bought a small kiosk on 28th May Street. But shortly after she started working, the kiosk was destroyed by a bulldozer without any explanation. When she and her husband Ibrahim Amrai divorced, 
Binagadi District Court issued a ruling on child support payments to Motalanova. Court executor Ogte Yaganli was tasked with ensuring the timely delivery of the payments, but over the last nine years, Motalanova has not received a penny. I have been told by a number of official bodies, including the Presidential Administration, the Ministry of Justice, the Ombudsman's Office, and the State Committee on Family and Court Engagement, that I should take this to court. But to which court should I appeal? If my case is not considered within 15 days, I will begin an open-ended hunger strike, she said today.